Hey guys, this is January the 7th, 2023, and it's going to be a six count, oh I'm sorry, Navy SEAL day, 20 minutes. Um, I'm at the end of my training block. <coughs> um, this one was shorter and a little more intense than uh, a few of the previous blocks since I've started doing this. Um, I started out with seven reps a minute, and surprisingly and happily, um, I took that up to four minutes straight through on my um, 20 minute set, as well as finishing with seven uh, for at least one minute in the last uh, five minutes. <coughs> so that was five minutes total in a 20 minute session at seven reps a minute, and five reps a minute for the remainder. That gave me um, 112 reps. Uh, I got my PR by one, um, and again, I worked with seven reps a minute, uh, really for the first time for any extended period. Um, you know, I've done seven reps here and there uh, for one minute thrown in, sometimes finishing with seven if it was an easy 20-minute uh, session, but I never worked with it extensively for any extended period of time <coughs> until this session. Um, so. Basically, uh, everything I did with seven was some type of PR, um, but I uh, finished the session, well, they will finish, uh, with 112 reps and four minutes straight through. So I debated, kept going back and forth last night and this morning, how I wanted to approach today. If I wanted to shoot for five minutes um, straight through, which is be fairly intense. Um, it also leads me on track. If I did five reps a minute and nothing else, I'd get 110 reps. Um, it would leave me that last five minutes to sneak in um, one or two minutes worth of sixes, um, possibly a seven to finish. Or I could see where seven reps a minute has left me as far as working straight across with six reps a minute. Um, my best is nine minutes, um, as well as getting, I believe, either three or four minutes in my last five minute set, last five minute block. <coughs> um, I'm pretty worn out, so I don't know how it's gonna go. <coughs> Again, it's the end of the block. I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna hold six reps a minute for however long I can. <coughs> Excuse me, settle in five minutes. <coughs> and then take it from there. Settle in, I'm sorry, for five reps a minute. Hold it throughout for however long that I can. Hopefully up it in that last five minutes. I'm gonna approach it as if I'm doing those seven reps. So I'm gonna to try to be efficient and explosive with my six reps, and that should leave me with a little bit of time right at the end um, to catch my breath and prepare. Fifteen seconds. Here we go. One. Two. Five. 
Six.
Two.
Seven reps there. At the end. On the buzzer. I'm counting. I leave it open to the bait, but I'm counting. If I'm on my way up, when I hear the buzzer, then I'm just about standing when it stops. That's one in the books for me. Either way, it's a strong PR. 112. Um, my 112 last session was again right on the buzzer. This time, I had 107 or 112. Sorry, with seven seconds to spare, which is why I started my last rep. It takes me six to seven seconds if I'm feeling good, so I knew it was going to be close. 113. <coughs> 10 reps straight through, which is a PR. 13 reps total, 6 minutes, 6 reps a minute or higher. What I'm going to do is take an easy session next time. Just an easy 5 reps a minute. Heck, maybe even less. I want something really easy, coasting through, and then I'll start working with sevens again. <coughs> Definitely paid off. All right. pull-ups according to my schedule <coughs> or I can push through for another session I'm tempted to push through might not be easy this must be uh 
Let me double check. Yep, eight six five four three. Let's get some a little bit of volume in with dips. So, <clears throat> eight, eight. I realize I sweated through all my chalk and I figure I'll get a fresh start. Eight, eight, and some squats. And work my way down. I'm a little wiped out after that set. In a good way. Eight reps. Take it a minute. Maybe a minute and a half. So mentally, <coughs> I reset myself. several times in that set. About the four or five minute mark, um, I felt decent. Um, and I started thinking, all right, if I get to the 10 minute mark, I should push for 11. That puts me on track for 111 reps if I only hold five reps a minute afterwards. Um, and around the 10 minute mark, I thought. Push for another minute, push for another two minutes. I opted for five instead, but several times I started thinking about either backing off, making sure that I made the 20 minute session, or getting seven and then backing off. Each time those urges occur to me, <coughs> I just mentally reset and made sure that I focused on this minute, this rep, this motion, breaking it down even less, this breath. Take this breath, <clears throat> take the next breath. Do this pump, go to the next pump. Do this burpee, go to the next burpee. That was the plan. Six reps.
steps. So, so, here's the key to the present moment. It's nothing magical. It's nothing special. There is no real power of now. Because <clears throat> there really is no now. Sorry. It's a mark of time. In a timeless existence. The key to the present moment is, it's all the present moment. There's no special place to be. There's no nothing happening that isn't always already happening. There's just this. Where we are, what we're doing, that's the magic. That's the present. That's the power of now, is it's always now. There's no place you can be. So, there's no action to take to stay in the present moment. There's no mindful breath, because every breath is mindful. Um, all it takes is noting when you think you're not there. And all of a sudden, you realize that even the noting, even what you were doing before, was all in that present moment. No special technique is needed. Five breaths. realization gone on me one day, <clears throat> it was like the rug was pulled out from beneath my feet, literally, because all of a sudden I was just floating, floating in existence, floating in being, floating in lightness. Five rows. Four squats. I'll be my last of the dips. Catch my breath. Three reps for the finish. It definitely feels good to have some motion in my numbers. It felt like it took me forever. Um, and I remember talking to uh, Sam Russell about this um, to get to 100. It just took forever. I was stuck in this mid-90s, getting 99, 98. Um, I could just never cross that threshold for weeks at a time. And then when I did, it seemed like I was right back down into the 90s again for a long period of time. Um, it took probably two months to get to 105. Um, and then again, I sunk back down. But when I started doing some block training here, um, the numbers moved up and stayed up, relatively consistent, because I was taking it down on a regular basis for my uh, own sake, for my own sanity, for my own recovery. 
four points. And when you do things with intention, intentionality, <coughs> everything changes. That means I was working with the ups and the downs. I was working with my energy. I was working with the energy of the burpees. I was working with the cycles of my body and my mind. Um, and everything clicked. Now, a lot of other things came into play. I corrected some uh, issues that were bothering me with my, uh, I got an issue with my jaw, an issue with the, that causes issues with the esophagus. Um, and I took care of some of that, finally. Um, sleeping with the <clears throat> mouth guard to correct the uh, imbalance in the jaw. Four reps. Really good upper body pump. Let's finish things off here. No dips or squats after this. This is it. Three in. Three to go. Decent volume on my pull-ups, although I'm definitely feeling it. I'll do a couple more sessions, take a rest day, retest. Key to see how many I can do um, before I have to take a moment to dead hang. I got a couple more reps. Um, or definitely no kipping. I don't really try to kip in any of my movements. Unless I was trying for a muscle up and then I would kip the health all the way up as much as possible. It would be a full body heave to get myself up over there. longer, by mid-February, I will be adding uh, teaching pranayama, breath work, guiding sessions, teaching people how to do it, addressing some issues physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, that can be helped with the addition of pranayama incorporating it with meditation, how it really supercharges your meditation practice, or any practice, including burpees. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and I would definitely offer it to my burpee friends. Um, I want to do some videos. Um, so I make my living uh, 
teaching yoga, and by yoga I mean not just the physical. Actually, I do very little of that. Um, myself, I have a good practice, but I don't really teach the asanas. Um, I might give a tip or two, but I teach meditation. So when I say yoga, I mentioned this before, um, that's uh, astanga yoga, the eight limbs of yoga. Um, you have your personal ethics, your morality, um, you have meditation, you have pranayama, <coughs> you have concentration, you have meditation. Um, and so yoga is a complete system of joyful living, um, working with your energy for uh, living a life of consciousness, of well-being, of joy. And uh, everything can be approached as your yoga. Um, I mention that often, that we're all yogis, that everything's yoga. Um, meditation and pranayama helps put you in touch with that uh, everyday moment um, uh, incorporation of yoga into the structure of your day. And so I want to do some videos of that, um, helping people out. And that's really my main goal, is to be of service. Obviously, I want to make a living, but to make a living for myself, that's a strange phrase, by the way, to make a living, because I'm alive. There's nothing else I can do but be a living. Um, I don't need to make anything. Um, it's only sort of the westernized concept of making something, that I make a living, that I make a life, that I make a career or whatever. Um, all that's taken care of by life. Um, however, I do want to earn enough money, maintain my life, maintain my house, um, buy a book on occasion, um, which is a, a luxury for me. One of that I indulge in probably more often than I should, but it's a, a big joy for me to get a new book. Um, and But more so than that is I want to be of service. Um, and I do that through, again, through meditation, through my art, through writing. Um, and it really does help me to keep in mind that I don't need to make a living, that I just need to be as I am and that life happens. Um, so if I can help other people gain that uh, sense of awareness just a little bit, um, that even just maybe giving a talk, doing a burpee session that um, ignites a little bit of a spark, um, that somebody who already has a uh, career that they're happy with, that they feel like they're being on point, on purpose, uh, living intentionally, um, but they might not be aware that what they're doing is of great importance. Um, so it's good to bring that in mind, evaluate. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Um, is it just to put food on the table? Or am I being of some service? Because there's always a way, uh, even sticking with your present career, of doing something that makes you feel alive and on purpose. Uh, incorporating some type of artwork. Um, being creative. Uh, learning an instrument. Learning to sing. Or just singing for the sake of singing. Uh, dancing for the sake of dancing. Doing burpees not to do anything other than a burpee. Um, these numbers are great, but they don't mean anything. It's arbitrary. 20 minutes is absolutely nothing. Look at Iron Wolf doing his hour-long routines. 113 reps is nothing. Um, look at uh, Tony Han and uh, the Dutch Destroyer and Max. All of them hitting 130 to 160. Um, James Brew hitting, I think, 165 or 167. Um, but all of them, it's the same thing. If you watch James Brew, um, James Bruce, um, he is doing nothing that he isn't meant to do, nothing that he isn't supposed to do. There is, even through the sheer intensity of his work and Tony Han's work, and no one's more intense than Tony, um, that there is just, there's a fierce joy. I love that expression, a fierce joy of what he's doing. Um, and that is his approach. Um, but we can all bring that own, our own fear story into whatever it is we do. Um, even if it's a paint by numbers. Uh, I bought my wife a book of uh, easy painting to learn how to do it. She's a great artist. Um, 
and I always try to find so many different ways to help her express it um, in different modalities. All right, guys, I was rambling all over the place today. I hope some sort of theme came through. Um, if not, whatever. Um, thanks for uh, popping in, checking out, and I'm glad you came along to see uh, PR. Um, always nice when that happens. Uh, thanks again, guys. Have a good day. Bye.